if you're trying to import an MP3 or audio file in GarageBand and instead of looking white and being able to be dragged into your project, instead yours is grayed out, well in this video I'm going to show you how to fix it. Let's go. So the problem that we have here is that GarageBand only accepts standard audio files and some files that you may download from different sources may not be standard audio files. They may be MP3 files like this one, but they're not going to actually work here in GarageBand. So what we need to do is convert them to a standard format and I'm going to show you how right now. Oh, and if you're new to GarageBand and you want to learn how to actually download and add your files here into GarageBand, check out the video linked up the top and in the description. For now, I'm going to assume that you've downloaded your file. I'm here in the iOS Files app and I'm going to go to Downloads. Now, I've named the file Grayed Out MP3 just so we know which one it is. And here's the weird thing. If we tap on it here, we can play it and the audio will be absolutely fine. But the problem is, as we saw before, in GarageBand, it's not recognized as an audio file. So what we need to do is convert it to a standard M4A or WAV file and that's what we're doing now. So I'm going to go to the App Store here on my iPhone or iPad and we're going to go to the search button down here at the bottom. I'm going to search for file converter because we need a file converter app to get this done. Now the one that I recommend is this one here. It is free but it does have some ads that will pop up from time to time so you can upgrade to the full version. Hit the download button there to download it and once you're ready to go you can hit the open button and this is what it will do. It will pop up like this and again if you're on the iPhone or the iPad it'll look exactly the same. Let's show you how to convert that file. Now the interface here is quite simple. All we need to do is tap on this big plus button in the bottom right hand corner and then tap on file. Now this will dump you into one file location. All we need to do is tap in the top left corner here and locate our file. So if it's in that downloads folder, we'll just tap on the downloads button there and then we need to locate our file. So we know that it's called grayed out mp3. There it is. We're going to tap on that one and that selected our source file. Now all we need to do is tap the audio converter and then choose what we want to convert it to. Now the most compatible format that I'd recommend is a WAV file. It will make it a little bit larger but it will make sure it's compatible. So we're going to select WAV file here and tap on that one. Now you can play around with the different settings here. So you can tap on the settings button there. The default settings will work for most folks, but if you want to go in there and change it around, you can do that. We'll tap the back button there. And now all we need to do is hit start conversion here, and it's going to go away and convert that MP3 file to a WAV file, which has now been done. Now we need to share this back to GarageBand. So we're going to tap on the share button here and we're presented with our regular share sheet here. And all we need to do is tap on the save to files option here and select where we want to put it. Now you can put it back in your downloads or your iCloud drive, wherever you like. I'd suggest going in here to on my iPad and down to GarageBand. If we want to bring it back into GarageBand, this is the easiest way to do it. Then just go to the GarageBand file transfer folder, hit the save button and that is done. Now, as I mentioned before, sometimes you'll do one or two conversions and then you'll get a pop-up or an ad or something. But apart from that, this works pretty flawlessly and is a pretty good way to convert your files. Let's now jump back to GarageBand. We'll flick up here and we'll go back to our GarageBand. And now you can see we've got a little one here, which means we've got a new audio file. If we tap on our loop icon here, check this out. There is our original grayed out MP3 file. And this time we can just tap and drag this one in and bingo, there is our file intact, ready to be imported into our GarageBand project. There are a heap more resources about GarageBand and importing your files there, there, and down in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.